Hello, I'm Dr. Desai and I'm currently faculty member in the leukemia program at Weill Cornell Medical College. The purpose of this video is to discuss approved treatment options for intermediate and high-risk myelodysplastic syndrome. If you have higher risk myelodysplastic syndromes, particularly intermediate to and high-risk MDS, Vigaza or Dacogen would be treatment options for you. These are approved agents in the treatment of higher risk myelodysplastic syndrome. The way these drugs work are a little bit different. These are not your traditional cytotoxic chemotherapy and they function differently. These drugs work by changing the genetic landscape of the myelodysplastic cells so that the tumor cells or the tumor genes are suppressed while allowing normal cells and normal genes to function better, hence allowing the bone marrow to make white cells, red cells, and platelets that are frequently reduced when you have myelodysplastic syndrome. The drugs are given for about five to seven days out of a month, and these cycles are continuous cycles. It takes about four to six cycles before these drugs can work. During that time, there may be an increasing requirement seen in your transfusions. In other words, you may get a little worse before you get better. What I mean is that you may require more transfusions than your baseline while waiting for these drugs to work. Both Videza and Dacogen are really tolerated well by most patients in an outpatient basis. The drugs are given either as an injection under the skin or through an IV line that is administered in your oncologist's office on an outpatient basis. While you're waiting for these agents to work, you will be closely monitored by your oncologist in the office to do regular blood counts, to do transfusions if necessary, and also to follow up or monitor any potential side effects that may be happening. Most people who achieve a response to these agents, we would generally continue this on an ongoing basis as long as we feel that you're deriving some benefit out of these agents. The exact length of therapy or how long to continue these drugs depends on how much you're deriving benefit and also how well you're tolerating the drug. If you have been on Videza or Dacogen for four to six cycles, please check out our video on Crush MDS for an ongoing clinical trial where we're collecting blood from patients who are undergoing treatment with Videza or Dacogen to hopefully predict response to these agents for the general population of patients with MDS.